Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use a cleviscope to measure the gain phase response of a network. Right, we're going to use our cleviscope to do a gain phase measurement. At the back of the cleviscope we have the signal generator output. This is used to stimulate the unit under test. The front of the cleviscope we have channel A input which is used to measure the signal being used to stimulate the unit under test. Channel B is used to measure the output of the unit under test. In this example we're going to use a mini circuit bandpass filter as the unit under test. The output of the mini circuits filter goes to channel B. The input signal to the unit under test goes to channel A. And we're using our signal generator to stimulate the unit under test. So we plug it into signal generator. We also need to connect up power and the connection to the PC, which in this case is Ethernet. We're all ready to go now. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the Cleviscope application so that you can do gain phase. The first thing to do is to determine the frequency range you want to use. In our example, we're going to use a 2 MHz low pass filter, so a frequency range of 5 MHz will be quite sufficient. So let's set this to 5 MHz just by over typing. The frequency span is at 25 megahertz and that's fine. You want a bit more than what you've set your range to be to avoid aliasing. Over here is the frequency resolution. As you can see, it can vary between 191 hertz and 48 kilohertz. It's currently set to 12.2 kilohertz and that will do just fine. If you make it narrower, it will take longer to sweep make it coarser and you won't get as much frequency resolution as you need. This will do for now. The next thing you need to do is set up the signal generator. It's best to start sweeping at the frequency resolution. So we set this to 12.2 kHz. And make the frequency step the same as the resolution. This maintains amplitude accuracy. We want a frequency range of 5 MHz. We only need to sweep once. So in the choices, in the sweep action, we set, set sweep up once. We want to sweep synchronous. This means that we only step the signal generator in between captures, which minimizes frequency smearing. An output amplitude of 2 volts is pretty good for as a trade-off between distortion and signal-to-noise ratio. So we'll stay with 2 volts. We also want a sine wave because we just want to sweep a single frequency over the frequency range. Okay, that's all set up. The next thing to do is to make sure that the scope display is displaying the correct amplitude range. If we make it so we get clipping, we'll see distortion. Here's an example. You can see all the clipping. We don't want that. So ensure that the range is sufficient to display the waveform. Currently, we're displaying the amplitudes for both channels A and B. However, what we want is gain and phase, where gain is the ratio between B and A, and phase is the angle between channels B and A where B is the output of the unit under test. Commonly we use log dB values to display these values because of the large dynamic range. So we go up to settings and choose spectrum and set the transform type to gain phase. Now we just have a single value. As you can see the gain and phase axes are probably not quite right. So what we'll go for is a maximum gain of 20 dB, because it's just a filter after all, and <coughs> minus 80 dB will probably do us in terms of the gain, minimum gain. 
for the phase, let's go from 20 degrees down to about minus 600. That should cover a couple of rotations around the unit circle. It's common to display gain phase plots with log frequency axis. Currently, we have a linear axis. So let's go up to settings and display spectrum log frequency. As you can see, it's now log. Now, our current waveform is over here. And we really would like to have the graph start at the correct left-hand side. So let's just type in 50 kilohertz as a good starting frequency. Now, currently, the gain phase plot displays just one frequency and phase. We actually want to build up a picture of the whole sweep. To do this, we'll use peak averaging. To set peak averaging, go up to settings, averaging, and select peak. To begin peak averaging, you click averaging on. And now we can start our sweep. As you can see, we're building up a picture of gain and phase for the filter. It's pretty linear to well past 2 megahertz. And then there's some peaking. And as you can see, the phase just varies dramatically at that point. The sweep stops, and we've captured our gain phase display. I hope this has been useful. See you again.